Hello, this is Michael Sulak, and in this video, we're going to be finding an equation of a function given a graph. It's pictured in blue right here. This is our function. For this problem, what we're going to give is the equation with the least possible degree. When you're trying to determine the equation of a function, first of all, Important parts of this graph include the x-intercepts. Also, it's going to be important to note that the y-intercept occurs where y equals 4. So in order to figure out what the degree of our polynomial is going to be, we need to look at the number of turning points. For this function, there are two of those. Because there's two turning points, the least possible degree is always equal to the number of turning points plus one. So our answer is going to be a third degree polynomial. With this information, we are ready to actually determine what our equation is going to look like. We're going to give our function f of x as the product of multiple, turns out they're going to be linear factors. Where these come from are the x-intercepts. We know that, hey, x equals negative 4 is an x-intercept. What that means is that the factor that's going to be necessary in our function is x plus 4. And similarly, because x equals 2 is the location of another x-intercept, x minus 2 is going to be a factor. And if this seems a little weird to you, just remember that f of x is the same thing as y. So at these x-intercepts, what does f of x equal? What's the height of the function? Well, it's zero. So for this blue line here, our equation would have to equal zero when x is negative four or x is positive two. And if you think about what would happen if you put negative four into this piece right here, you'd get negative four plus four, that would give you zero. And then zero times anything would give you zero. So yes, x plus four is a factor if negative four is the location of an x-intercept. And a similar argument can be made for two. So we are partially there. We have the right factors. There's no other x-intercepts of this function, but there's a few problems right now. One is the degree, and the second is where the y-intercept would be. And the degree is the highest power of your polynomial. And currently, the way this is written, the leading term would end up being x squared. And so the degree of this polynomial would be 2. And that's not what we want. We want the degree to be 3. The degree has to be 3. There's no way this function can look like this blue line. So we need another x. So what some people would like to do is say, okay, the degree needs to be three, so maybe I could just add another x out here. And it's true that this would make the leading term be x to the third, which would be good. The degree would be three, but this adds another zero. This adds another x-intercept at zero, and this function doesn't have an x-intercept at zero. So it turns out that what needs to happen is that one of these is going to have what we call a multiplicity greater than one. And if you look at the behavior of the function at this x-intercept, it passes through. The function comes from below and goes right through the x-intercept and goes above it. Whereas at this x-intercept, it bounces. And it's a property of polynomials that when it goes through, that means the multiplicity is odd. It could be something like 1 or 3 or 5. Whereas when it bounces, that means the multiplicity is even. So 
that's enough to tell us that there could be an exponent up here that would have to be odd because negative 4 corresponds to this factor. And there's an exponent up here that has to be even because positive 2 corresponds to this factor. And since basically the sum of these two boxes has to equal 3 because that's the degree that we want. And so if I think about it a second, there's no way the multiplicity of x plus 4 would be 3. This is just going to be a 1, which usually you don't write, but I'm just going to put it up there to make a point, which means the multiplicity of our x minus 2 factor, there's going to be a squared up here. So our function is going to involve x plus 4 to the first power, and maybe I'll just erase that because we usually don't write it and x minus 2 squared, which means we have the right degree. And that's a good thing. So this equation right here that we've written, it definitely has the right factors. It has the right degree. It will have the same x-intercepts as this pictured function here. But there's a problem. And that problem is that currently, what's the y-intercept of our function that we've written here? And if you remember, the y-intercept is where x equals 0. And so if you put 0 into this function, what you're going to get is f of 0. And currently, what that's going to look like, which is going to give us 16. This function currently has a y-intercept of 16, and that is not what we want. Our function here has a y-intercept of 4, and so we're missing something. We need some way to create the right y-intercept of positive 4 without changing any other aspects of our equation. We can't change the factors because that would change the zeros. We can't change the multiplicity. And what we end up changing is that we are going to add a constant out here in the front, a, which is going to basically adjust this function to have the right y-intercept. So our y-intercept is no longer going to be 16. And so with our new function here, f of 0 is going to be some number a times 0 plus 4 times 0 minus 2 squared. So all we need to do now is to solve for a. And how do I do that? Well, I'm going to set up an equation, and I'm going to remind myself that I want f of 0 to be this number right here. In order to solve for this a, I need to put in my value of 4 for f of 0. And so just quickly doing some math here, a is going to be 1 over now that we know this value of a, we can plug that back into our function. And our function is going to look like 1 fourth times x plus 4 times x minus 2 squared. And so this function right here is the equation with the least possible degree. If you graphed this thing, it would look exactly like this. As a reminder, let's just talk about what we had to do. First of all, we had to realize that the x-intercepts give us our factors. The second thing is we had to remember that the number of turning points tells us our least possible degree. So we knew that one of these factors had to occur with a greater multiplicity than 1, and because it bounces at 2, that means that the factor of x minus 2 ended up getting squared. Then the last thing, we had to remember that there is a constant a out in front. And so to solve for that, we just plugged in the value of 4 for f of 0 and zeros for our x values, and then solved for a. That's finding the equation of a polynomial with the least possible degree given a picture. The more you practice this, the better you'll get. And this is Michael Sulak, and I will see you next time.